Let's send it over to uh, the Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister, Simon Birmingham. Now, uh, Simon, good to see you. Uh, so what do you make of that okay. report this morning? And is, is China, has China got to do more, even though Xi Jinping is showing no interest in cutting his emissions? Well, good morning, Pete. Look, I look forward to reviewing the content of this important report over coming days and weeks. It was obviously only released overnight. Uh, it shows very clearly that the world, and it does need to be a global effort, uh, need to continue the work towards decarbonisation. Now, there are messages in that for Australia, uh, but ultimately, successfully tackling climate change requires global cooperation. That's challenging in the type of world that we find ourselves living in, but this is an existential problem in many ways for uh, countries, all countries, and that's why uh, trying to bring parties together and work together is going to be so critical. Uh, Australia, as an advanced, developed economy, uh, has a leading role to play, and we should continue to play that role in terms of driving forward technological advances, setting clear examples for the rest of the world. But we also have to be realistic uh, about the fact that we need other big emitting countries, and particularly those with strong growth profiles, like China, like India. All of those types of nations need to be playing their role for the world to successfully tackle this issue too. OK. On China, Xi Jinping has met Vladimir Putin overnight. Uh, what do you make of any kind of peace, porks, uh, peace talks? Are you buying any of it? We've got to remember the landscape against which this meeting has occurred. It comes just days after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin over war crimes and, atro and atrocities being undertaken uh, in Ukraine. Uh, so uh, the reminder of uh, the illegal and immoral invasion and war that Russia has been waging is very real and very present. And uh, the fact that against that backdrop, we have uh, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin having discussions about uh, their friendship between nations without limitations is a reminder of the fact that, uh, that um, autocracies in the way in which they engage with one another do pose very real threats. I hope that behind the scenes there was more direct advocacy for a cessation uh, of the conflict and for finding a way to bring peace to the region. Because that conflict is not just having uh, and placing such a brutal toll on people in Ukraine, yeah. it of course is having worldwide implications in terms of its economic impact. Just in 20 seconds, Simon, uh, I'm out of time, but uh, the fact that he's not going to Ukraine, he's going to give Zelensky a phone call instead where he's spending three days in Russia. Is he really legit about, it, legit about ending... The war? Well, only time will tell, uh, but out of, uh, out of these meetings, I don't think people will have a lot of hope or expectation. But China can play a big role. It should play a big role. And that starts with putting effective pressure on Putin. Simon Birmingham, appreciate your time. Uh, we're a little squeezed today, an action-packed half an hour.